Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking love and marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking because uh, love and marriage Huntsville, you guys, it is the gift that keeps on giving. It doesn't matter the day, the time, the, the year, the month, the day. It doesn't matter. There is always shenanigans going on. There's always tomfoolery. And today is none other than the Stormy Steel, the face uh, of Canvas Beauty brand, you guys. TikTok, the, the face, the, the TikTok queen, you guys. Well, it, it is TikTok now on these cases and these lawsuits and these liens that Stormy is a part of. It is TikTok on what Stormy's response is going to be because apparently, allegedly, she's being sued again. Shocker, you guys. Not her birthday month, not the Leo season. And Stormy is getting handed yet another lawsuit. Can you make it make sense? So what are we talking about? What is happening? Shout out to Show Styles and Spirit. This is where I saw it. Uh, so uh, that is where I saw. Uh, she had on her page uh, the Pacer uh, receipts of this lawsuit being filed, you guys, via Kyle on the 14th, you guys. So literally on Wednesday, right? Because uh, depending on where some of you are, uh, it is in the wee hours of Friday, August 16th, right? And so nonetheless, he is suing for fraud. He is suing Stormy Steel for fraud. And if he has, you know, tangible receipts that can show that, you know, everything he did for the company, any type of agreements or any type of access that he's had and, you know, basically can prove to Stormy that he was wrongfully terminated and that there's some questions about what really is going on with the books and that the books, the math was not mathing with the numbers that Kyle was running versus the spending that Stormy was doing on lavish gifts, million dollar homes, and, and anything to stunt for the gram, you guys. Instead of paying the bills, instead of paying the creditors, instead of paying off the existing debt that exists, it is more important to present that you are rich and you are new money on social media. Well, ask how Bow Wow, how that worked out for him competing in the Bow Wow challenge himself. Ask him how that worked out for him, right? Uh, but nonetheless, you guys, you know, as long as Love and Marriage Huntsville continues to be glued to the courthouse, to be glued to the court system. At this point, Carlos King, th there is no reason anymore for us to be doing these awkward scenes with cast members, to be dragging out the Sunny Moses and Destiny thing, to be dragging out, you know, the Trisha, Martel, Ken, and Marquez saga. Nobody cares, you guys. We need the Love and Marriage Huntsville cameras to be stationed at not only the courthouse in Madison County, but the Love and Marriage Huntsville cameras also need to be stationed at the police department as well in Madison County because it seems that that is where the real storylines are taking place, you guys, whether it is DUIs, whether it is convictions of uh, DV harassment in the third degree, whether it is people pretending that they didn't know they had warrant out for their arrest, whether it is people being sued, whether it is people not paying anybody and, and being taken to court, whether it is people being taken to court for various liens, whether it is people being taken to court for not finishing a job, whether it is people being taken to court for fraud, whether it's people being taken to court for not agreeing to the divorce degree, whether it is people being taken to court for trying to take advantage of people and, and trying to fraudulently write their name on the bill and trying to fraudulently stay in a house and block a house from being sold and trying to fraudulently uh, play games whenever it is time to exchange the child. All of these shenanigans, you guys. Make it make sense. 
Uh, and apparently it's going to be a random magistrate that is going to be assigned to this case, which is probably for the best because it seems as though the existing judges in Madison County want no parts of these reality star people, you guys. You can just tell in these hearings, in these rulings, that they are just over the BS. They are just over it. They are. They feel like their time is being wasted. They feel like these people refuse to get right and refuse to act right, right? And, and so for some of you, you're like, well, well, is this a storyline for the show? Listen, listen, listen. The real storyline, you guys, is everything that is not happening on the show. The real Love and Marriage Huntsville, what's really going on with these cast members is everything that is taking place that you see that is not on the show currently, you guys. And this is yet another example of why it is important you guys to be authentic why it is important to tell your truth to be honest about your ups and your downs so that nobody else has to put it out there when Kyle first you know revealed that he was wrongfully terminated by Stormy Stormy is you know off in the weeds, uh, posting from the warehouse, pretending that nothing is happening, you guys, while everything literally surrounding her is on fire. Wanted to hype up some upcoming TikTok live, wanted to hype up, you know, a deal for her birthday because it's Leo season, all of these things. Meanwhile, Kyle was giving you guys a heads up that this was about to go to the courts, that he has proof, he has receipts, that the math is not mathing as it pertains to what he was doing to help revamp and rebrand Canvas Beauty to the success that it is now. And all of a sudden, Stormy now wants to, you know, pump the brakes, right? Doesn't want this to be a publicly traded company, doesn't want to, you know, expose where the real money is and where the real money is going, does not want Kyle, didn't want Kyle to have all of this access and all of this control. Essentially, Stormy basically used Kyle as a fixer-upper, as somebody to come in and rehab her business from being bankrupt and kaput once again. And once Kyle did what he needed to do to get this company back on track, and not only that, help secure the TikTok deal and all of these other opportunities and all of these other, you know, influencers and in, that are getting the commission and promoting the body glaze on their platforms, all of this. And Stormy says in the middle of no, for no reason at all, while, you know, no reason at all, other than she felt threatened, she has one of her typical panic attacks and completely unleashes and losing it, which is not normal behavior, you guys, but basically felt, oh, no, 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 no. I may have hired the melanemic man to help save my business because I felt he was the best qualified. However, uh, I am going to pretend now that uh, I was responsible for everything. I am going to pretend now that, that since I'm a black owned business that I need to take over the reins. But, but what is going to happen if you take over the reins and, and you're back to being bankrupt? You're back to potentially losing it all again because you refuse to get the proper advice and the proper, you know, financial advice in particular on what to do with your money and, and not just buying all of these lavish gifts because you're new money, but putting the money actually back into the business actually putting money back into the pockets of the hard workers that are packaging up uh the alleged prepackaged body glaze you guys <laughs> like, like like why haven't we still been to a chemist or a lab or anything to show receipts that this is actually being produced somewhere in the united states you guys can you make it make sense as to why we still have no clue after all of the millions of dollars in sales that, you know, Body Glaze has, you know, amassed to, you're trying to tell me that there is nobody that is on the team that is flat out building these body scrubs and, and all of the things. So not body scrubs. Uh, that's going to be something in the future that Stormy's coming out with, you know, to uh, give an ode to Mel, right? I mean, body glaze, right? That, you know, all of these people and in, in promoting the body glaze and, and all of these things, 
What do you have to say now, Stormy? And Carlos, this is another example of how, you know, incompetent this casting was and how much of a train wreck most of this cast is, you guys. And in various points, we, we hear all of the time, that's why they're really mad. That is why the cast is really mad. This is why the cast, you know, just assumes that any fan is a melometer, that is a Mel supporter. And that is why Marceau did that on Hinge Live, where he was calling people deplorables and claiming that he couldn't wait to see the ratings and that if the ratings were low, it was because of college football and the NFL, which last I checked is not in season in April, May, and June, and July, you guys, and August. Uh, what is going to happen now is, of course, the preseason games for, you know, in preparation for the real NFL games. But but all this tomfoolery, all of these shenanigans, and, and trying to, you know, stir the pot and all these things. No, 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 no. Stormy. Get it together. Stop flexing for the brand, for the, um, not for the brand, for the glam, for the, um, not for the glam. Why can't I talk? Because it's in the middle of the night. That's why. Uh, <laughs> stunting for the Grammy wise and really trying to present this narrative that does not exist. Meanwhile, the lawsuits, the legal cases, and everything else is being piled up like never before. If you are a reporter and you got flewed out to Huntsville to cover this story, uh, what say you? Are you camping out of the alleged businesses of these people and these alleged warehouses of these people to try to get a sound bite? Or are you going to book it to the airport to make sure you make your flight in time uh, to also partake in whatever it is you're going to partake in? But uh, nonetheless, you guys, there is that. Please let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.